Stan Gibalisco here to show you a functional diagram of a device called a torsion balance. This uh, device is a very sensitive type of meter that can measure tiny, tiny electrostatic, magnetic, or even gravitational forces between two objects. One of them here is shown in sort of a purple violet color, the other one in a blue-green color. The apparatus consists of a flat mirror, polished and shiny as can be, suspended by a thin fiber, like a hair, just a hair-thin fiber, so that it can easily turn. The slightest little force will cause this mirror to rotate. Underneath it is an upside-down T-shaped rigid assembly balanced in such a way with a counterweight and one of the objects uh, which you want to measure the force upon. Uh, this, uh, these masses are equal so that the uh, horizontal portion of this rigid assembly really is horizontal. The slightest air current or other disruption uh, will cause this thin fiber to allow the mirror to twist and deflect the laser beam, preferably a laser beam, from this narrow beam light source. In the year 1798, a physicist named Henry Cavendish used apparatus like this, obviously not with a laser beam, but some method of getting a very narrow light beam. He used an apparatus like this to detect the gravitational force between two ordinary objects and thus was able to determine with considerable accuracy the value of the gravitational constant. But this type of device, if in entirely operated within a vacuum, preferably so that there are no air currents to disrupt it and no outside influences such as magnetic fields or anything else to disrupt it, uh, you can measure exceedingly tiny electrostatic voltages or magnetic field intensities, depending upon whether these objects are magnets or electrostatically charged objects. And, of course, you can probably, uh, if you are of sufficient patience and have a great enough distance here for the light beam to travel to the screen, you can probably detect gravitational force as well. Uh, this uh, screen is the, the narrow light beam is just projected onto it. It looks here like we're looking at it from the back side. It's like a translucent screen and as this flat mirror rotates even the tiniest fraction of one degree of arc, even a few seconds of arc, if this distance is great enough, this dot from this narrow beam light source will move along this scale and you can detect the tiniest of forces that way. Uh, just sort of a thought for the day, how to detect the tiniest of tiny forces. The, th the thing that you have to be careful about is that external forces don't disrupt the behavior of this object. Presumably even someone walking into the same room with you and adding more mass uh, between this object and the surroundings might cause a false reading on this meter. Imagine uh, you're standing there, everything's set up, and a cat walks through the door. You forgot to shut the door and a cat walks in and you can detect the presence of the cat because this little dot will move. I wonder if someday they'll be able to actually detect thoughts and dreams and nightmares and maybe interpret them and read them. Oh, Stanley, shut up, shut up. You're going off the deep end now. You've had a long day. Stan Gibalisco is signing off. Until next time, so long.